All right, let's turn to Indra now for a look at the forecast. Equally probably confusing at this moment, Indra. Any chance of more snow? Yeah, exactly, because we had that snow yesterday. It almost seems like a distant memory, all these flurries we had in Central Park. Keep in mind, Central Park, they actually tied the record for a trace. So pretty early that we were talking about the snow, JFK actually set the record for a whole whopping 0.2 inches of it. Yes, everyone's asking, is there going to be more snow? No. That cold front is way offshore. In fact, it only has some showers in through Miami today. Everywhere else behind it, we are talking about just that chilly cold air that is in place. I mean, currently we're really talking about temperatures once you add in the wind to about 12 degrees in Chicago, Kansas City right now, 11. New York feels like 23 as you're getting up and heading out the door. And Boston, yep, feels good. 15, right? You're wondering, are we going to warm up as we go to the afternoon? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, New York City, you're going to get to about 39 degrees. Boston, you'll get to 38. But even in the south, we're talking about temperatures 20 degrees below normal, much better than here. You'll actually have the 50s, though, as you get to the afternoon. So keep in mind, yeah, it is chilly. We do start to warm up, but we're also going to see the winds picking up. So that's going to add a little bit of that wind chill in the afternoon as well, gusting to maybe 30, almost near 40, about towards Minneapolis and Chicago today. So keep in mind, definitely going to be bundling up. But here's the good news. This dome of high pressure, the position of it changes everything. It's the basics in weather. Winds go clockwise around a high. Why do you care? Because when it's here, you're talking about wind coming down from Canada, and that is why it's cold today. But tomorrow, this guy goes all the way offshore and the winds come around the back side of it so it completely changes your weather pattern we actually get the winds coming off the warm water in the gulf and you warm up so with that by tomorrow temperatures already rebound we're looking at the 50s which is really good news for me because i haven't figured this out yet this is like indra's children's book right indra going through the seasons her first time ever <laughs> running to the car in the morning for me I haven't figured it out. Yeah, don't shake your head. This is a new thing I didn't think about. You got in the go suit of, here. You got to let go of the flip flops for stuff. <laughs> right. This is Number the one. Scientist who <laughs> covers extreme it's a weather. No one taught like me in Atmo 101 what to wear in the morning when you run to work. Oh, so Kate you get and I need to that. take you on an outing. Clearly, <laughs> I love you, Indra. Thank you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Meteorologist Indra Peterson's in New York to tell us when it'll warm up. Good morning. Yeah, you don't like that, Carol? No, <laughs> Neither do I. Everyone's making fun of me here in New York City, but at least in the South, you feel my pain since I'm from California. We are talking about a cold front yesterday that brought those snow showers, but here's the good news. That guy is way offshore, so no, we are not talking about snow anymore, but behind it, yes, we are left with this chill. I mean, look at the temperatures right now. Carol, you are still in the 30s, 37 degrees in Atlanta, New York City, at the freezing mark, but you know what? I forgot to leave out the wind chill, so it actually feels... Even colder, we're talking about 20s in New York City, Atlanta 33, Chicago, try this, 15 degrees. That's what it feels like right now with winds gusting to almost 40 miles per hour. No one is happy here. We are talking about temperatures well below normal, even for this time of year. I mean, even all the way down to the south, we're talking about temperatures almost 20 degrees below normal. That chill is here but it's not going to last. Here's the good news. It's all about the position of high pressure. Right now, where it is, it's bringing in cold air from Canada. But once you get on the back side of the high, which comes as early as tomorrow, you start to see the warm air coming off the Gulf. And with that, we're talking about temperatures rebounding by tomorrow to exactly where they should be, pretty much 50s for all of us, Carol. And then maybe people will like me just, just a tad better, right? <laughs> we still like you, but, man, we like Thanks. you a lot more now. Andrew Peterson, thanks Presents so much. <laughs>